Greetings and welcome Play and Plug fans. This is Andrew Lotz here with Play and Plug TV and I am here with Larry Elmore, a legend of the gaming illustration industry. If there is one person whose vision of fantasy got me inspired back when I was a youngster, it is Larry's work. I, um, I remember Dragons of Autumn Twilight. That, that imagery is absolutely in my brain. So um, we wanted to thank you for meeting with us today and uh, ask you about what you've got going on. You've had a successful Kickstarter recently, correct? Yes. Uh, well, last year I've, I've started doing a lot of my own art and uh, without, you know, uh, art directed, uh, art direction, just uh, doing my thing. And I was really having a great time. And a friend of mine said, well, why don't you do a Kickstarter over your career, wor uh, career's art, all your art? And so he talked me into it, so we decided to do a kickstart program, started a little bit after Thanksgiving. I wanted to raise $17,500 to do a hardback uh, book. They went to $300,000. So, so I'm doing a big hardback, a thick hardback. Uh, now that book is going to cost probably with shipping around seventy grand to do it all. but. We're doing the best we can. We've been working all year so far on this book. We hope to ship by um, August. Still yet, that was our date we set in Kickstarter, and we're still trying to make that date. Uh, later this fall, I think we're going to do another Kickstart because we couldn't get everything in one book. All of my black and whites, pencils, inks, washes, and the, and we're going to do a Kickstart on that. That book will be a little bit cheaper, uh, not just because it's black and well only because it's black and white. The binding and the hardback, all the same quality high paper will be the same. So the book will still be a very heavy, big book. Um, and it will probably be 336 pages like the other one. And uh, between the two books, you will have 90% of my career. And the reason I say 90% uh, is because there's about 10% of all the work I've done just gotten lost uh, in some other country, gone here or there, you know, I, I have no way to reproduce them. So we're reproducing about everything that I, that, that I can reproduce, you know, that's still available. Is it going to be arranged uh, chronologically or genre-wise? Well, on, on the big color book, it's arranged a, a, a little bit of both, uh, chronologically and, and genre. But it's very hard to do. That's because the paintings different sizes, different shapes. I don't know. And some of you want to show big, some of you want to show small. So that's been the thing that's slowing us down. I'm talking about something, but... The painting will be three pages over because it needs to be full page and there's no room to put here. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nightmare, but we're working it out. Sure. But we're trying to organize the best we can this big color book that, that, um, that was already sold. But there will be some available through me uh, at conventions mainly. And if you do, you can contact me through my website if you want one. But it will be selling at retail price, which is $80. Um, on, on the Kickstarter, you can get it for $40, $49. So. Now, um, can you talk a little bit about what it's like to have um, such an influence on role-playing games in particular um, with your art? Well, it's, I guess it's the, way, the best way to compare it is like, um, it's like if you took someone from the 1903 and bring them to today, they couldn't believe everything. But you take someone that's through a lifetime changes are slow so with me when I started in, in role-playing art it was just what I did and so the changes have been slow and you just grow up with it and then all of a sudden it's like you jerked me from another century huh. today is all these young people and, uh, and a lot of the people that saw the old red dragon when they was 13 years old the D&D &D box now it's like oh it's Larry Elmore blah, blah, and I'm still like I'm just a dude trying to paint and make a living because I love it, you know. Sure. I'm the same guy. It's like I haven't changed. It's just, you know, I'm an artist. As long as you can keep getting work and, and selling paintings, then you can keep painting, you know. Sure. And it's what's all I've been about. I've never even thought about me in any other way. But nowadays it's like, you, you, I don't know, you get a reputation. It's almost like I told a friend, I said, there's me and then there's a guy called Larry Elmore. So we got to protect the, the brand. But I'm just that same old knucklehead from Kentucky, just good old Kentucky boy, and that's it. So I, I was told I have to ask this question real quick. How do you feel about Andy Hopp having used your bathroom? <laughs> I'd be nervous too. That's a, I do. He was at my studio, and so, but he, 
Uh, I think it was okay after it's all over with, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's no artistic rivalry about bathrooms like that? Now that I know this, since he's made it one, I might have to go to his place. Right. Ab absolutely. You need to go uh, disrespect his bathroom. Right. Write my name on a wall. Or something. <laughs> well, again, this is Andrew Lotz with Play and Plug TV with Larry Elmore. Thank you so much for your time. Please remember to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment right below this video. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you.